Welcome back to our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia. Well, after quite a little bit of work, these four chairs have all been repaired. They've all been taken apart, completely taken apart. These three chairs, not the armchair, were broken down to every component piece, cleaned. All the repairs were done, and there were a lot of them. There were a lot of splits and broken dowels, and then they were all re-glued and clamped, and they're all rock solid, and they're ready to go. So all we've got left to do on these is get them all stripped down and then refinish them back up. My wife's going to recover the seats for me. She's going to take care of that later today or tomorrow. So this video is going to be a quick one. I'll just show you a little blurb of each of the refinish, and then we'll finish it up uh, with the final shots. Okay, we're set up to strip. I've got my liquid methylene chloride based stripper, a chip brush, a putty knife, my scraper, a rag, a piece of steel wool. As you've seen me do before, I just brush this stuff on and let it do the work for me. Keep it wet and then wipe it off. There's not going to be a tremendous amount of finish on this, so I don't think it's going to be uh, too big a deal to get it off. But we'll see. Uh, see you can see it coming off. All the color, <coughs> excuse me, all the color in this wood is in the top coat. All right, I'll bring you back when this is done. Well, here are our chairs all stripped. Basically what I did was apply a liquid methylene chloride based stripper, stripped off uh, the finish, wiped it off with rags which wound up getting disposed of when they were done. Then after I got the finish off, they were uh, rubbed down with lacquer thinner and then they got a water rinse to neutralize the thinner, I'm sorry, to neutralize the stripper and then they brought inside to dry. Now the next step is to sand them in preparation for sealing. Sanding with 220 or I'll change the grid if I find a spot that needs a rougher grid or a finer grid. And while I'm sanding them down I'm looking for any imperfections, glue squeeze outs, chips cracks that I missed and now's the time to get them because once this step is done we move on to finishing them and the one thing you don't want to do in the middle of a finish job is run into a repair so you want to make sure that you have the chairs just the way you want them before you start to spray a sealer and top coat on them so i'll take these chairs outside one at a time and with my sandpaper and a block and my fingers and a little patience we will get these ready to be sealed up there's no sense you watching me sand i can't think of anything more boring so i'll bring you back when they're done Oh, one other thing, I always wear a dust mask when I sand. You do what you want, but I don't want that stuff in my lungs. Here they are, all sanded. All they need to be is wiped down. We'll let them sit out in the sun for a little while and uh, make sure that we dry off the last of uh, any dampness from either the stripper or the water rinse. But uh, you can see that they're looking pretty good. Pairs. That's the epoxy one. And then, that there's the one we did in mahogany. They're looking pretty good. Uh, if you remember, we also had another leg assembly that had been broken and was held together with a screw. That's this one. This has been re-glued. That's where I plug for the screw hole. And we need to do just a little bit of work to smooth this seam out. But it looks good on the side. So we're going to let this uh, let these sit out in the sun for a little while. And then uh, get to sealing them. Okay, the chairs have had about an hour to dry in the Georgia sun. So it's been probably three, four hours since they were water washed. So they should be fine. And they have been wiped off with naphtha, dusted off, and they are ready to seal. I'll set you up and watch you. You can watch me shoot a shoot a seal coat.
Let's shoot some color. Here they are with their first coat of lacquer on them. There's 40 sheen satin lacquer. And we'll just keep lacquering and sanding and lacquering and sanding until we get it the way we want. I think they're looking, uh, looking pretty good.